who's the top dog right now? Who's the, the best the, the the best favorite of those four? You think at, at this point in time? Man, you can't ever, uh, count out the current champion. You know what I mean? That's Kyle Larson. You know, even though uh, he struggled a little bit here at Dover, I think he might have had a right rear tire go down, but he, he uh, spun off turn four, came back, rebounded, and had a decent finish. But uh, but you, know, you you can't count you can't ever count Kyle Larson out. And uh, man, just the whole organization, Hendrick Motorsports, is just uh, you know to, to answer that question. It's hard to answer that question, but you know that you'll see a uh, Hendrick Motorsports car when it comes down to the final four, I believe, in Phoenix at the end of the year. Yeah, I think so too, Dominic. Uh, let me ask you: uh, when you look at that race, it seemed like the Kyle Busch had the best car that he was in position to win, but bad timing on that caution there. Uh, did the did the best car win on Sunday on, on Monday rather, or was uh, or was Kyle Busch uh, robbed of a victory of sorts? I think you could certainly make that argument. And we've seen this classic theme with the next gen car this year. Eleven races in, what nine of the races comers and goers. We certainly saw that between Sunday and Monday's race. Ross Chastain looking strong early on. Kyle Busch leading the most laps but not taking the win. Chase Elliott ultimately coming away the victor. But yes, I think you can make the argument Kyle Busch looked like the class of the field, but. Hey, there were 400 laps. He didn't cross the line first after lap 400. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it's uh, Chase Elliott who gets the win uh, this past weekend there at Dover. We'll look at Darlington coming up later on in the show.